We had a chat with Amindeep. He's been in the hospitality business for 10 years and we're talking about coaching business, mentorship business. Kind of broke down to him. what's the best way of growing that business and what to do in it. Anyways, this is a couple of the highlights of our chat. Funny thing is there's, there's a guy that came in this office probably about two years ago we were, we were chatting with him. He was working with his own community. Right, which which was a great thing, and he goes, you should be working within your within your community. I'm like, I am. I am working within my community. It's the business community, yeah. and also it's. I'm from Canada. I'm born and raised here, yeah. right? This is my community. universal community. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But here's another thing for you: is the ones that are actually uh, immigrating to Canada, a lot of them are lost. How to get a job, where to start, where to do everything. You can coach a lot of them because. Yeah. There's an influx of them coming in, and it's not stopping. Guys, when I first started this vlog, I thought my demographic was going to be a certain age group, and so with the vlog, I had to adjust my main business, the mortgage business. My demographic is totally different than the demographic that you see in the podcast and, and, and the vlog. So I had to actually cater more towards my my younger demographic. So, you know, before you start coaching and mentoring, know your demographic, because I was talking about one thing in the beginning and now I realize that I'm adding zero value to the demographic that we have on the vlog and the podcast. What platforms are you on? Uh, just LinkedIn and Facebook, I I just consider it as like... Um, get, get all of it. Get LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, podcast, yeah, well, do, do it all. It comes down to insights, you know, Facebook insights that we have, looking at analytics and then all. also like having a conversation with a person. Really having a conversation with people. People come to the office and who are they? Now, what is the demographic? What you know? What do they want out of it? What's the value you can bring them? And trust me, in the next two years, our demographic is gonna probably change. It's gonna grow, or it can be something else. I don't know, but I'm here. I'm ready. And the moment I can't give any value to that demographic, then uh, we'll look at different avenues. Are you reaching out back home, or are you gonna just do, do everything here? Uh, yeah, just here. Yeah. Just here. You don't want to reach out to the people that are coming from there to here to migrate. But That's a big point, market for like, you. Because those are here, yeah. I can, but if I can capture them, hey, you are trying to come here, yeah. this is how you get prepared. Exactly. Because I have personal connection and because yeah. I've gone through that. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that's that's where your life experience is. I see a lot of people that want to be coaches and mentors and you know what it's fine to be a coach and mentor but if you're experienced in it let's, let's just say I'm gonna put, put food here if you're not an executive chef there's no point in teaching cooking but here's another thing if you are just starting off in the kitchen and you're you know you went from washing dishes and now you're prepping something or cutting something look you can always mentor people that are, are washing the dishes and just know what position you are and mentor the ones where you were a month ago, a year ago, five years ago. There's no point in mentoring somebody when you don't even have that information. But for me, if I'm going to take somebody on as mentoring, I'm going to mentor somebody that is new to vlogging, new to podcasting, because I've been doing it for two years now, and I have some experience where I can actually help them and guide them. I think there's a lot of uh, information out there for somebody to find the job, but what's really not taught is, you know, when people are migrating here, yeah. right? Year, five year, months or six Yeah, months. yeah, first five hours, Yeah. right? <laughs> right, next yeah. five weeks, right? Yeah. Five days, five weeks, you know, yeah. what, whatever you want to pick, and you know, this is the step. Yeah. You know, come in here if you don't have family, you know, these yeah. are the places to stay. You've been through it, that's why, yeah, yeah, right? That's I can't do that because I haven't been through it, Yeah. right? I have, I have no, no experience yeah. for, from that, right? And, and they want to hear somebody that has actually done it within the last 10, 15 years, five, six, maybe a year, maybe six months. Yeah. They want to hear somebody that has gone through the whole process. Yeah, true. And then what happens is once that grows, then they're going to start growing and then that becomes a community. Now they've been here for like 15 years, yeah. right? Totally, like, yeah. And then that's like, you know, saves their money, their energy, and right away they're like, they On know what to do, right? Fitting in. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's fitting big, in. And yeah. I, another thing I've found with the, uh, with the community is they want to, they sticking together is fine, right? You don't, no, you don't grow, you yeah. don't grow, right? Yeah. And the kids, and I see those kids now because some of them are, to, are, are 30s and, and 40s, and have a conversation, uh, conversation with them. It's like holy shit, it's like talking to your parents. Exactly. But your parents are from the whole country. You're not. You're from here. Yeah. And you're talking to, like you are from I back then yeah. because you, you haven't grown. You just stayed within that in the community. So it's always nice to to kind of leave and yeah. and uh, and figure other things out. And the, and the ones that I actually have done, they've. Uh, 
uh, they've grown tremendously. A week ago, I started posting videos. Now. Yeah. I was so shy. I said, no, I don't have to be like actor, like acting on skills. So it's just uh, a value given, right? Yeah, no, that's what I read. Um, what you say, like a value, and then just post it. Don't yeah. overthink it. Yeah, uh, look, we post a lot of content yeah. now, and. After we post it through direct messaging or private messaging or text messaging, emails or something, somebody will contact us. Wow, that one thing has changed. Or with this one thing, you know, you added so much value that we, we kind of started doing something else. That's what means more. If I sit there all the time, I'm like, oh my God, who's going to watch this? I'm going to get nervous. What I'm doing is I'm actually, I'm devaluing the information I can be giving to somebody else. I had a challenge starting too. How to edit this, how to put it together. I don't know anything about focusing. Camera me. focusing. <laughs> Not me focusing, I'm, I'm well focused. Camera focusing. Uh, you know, those little things kind of help me back, but I realized that when I'm not in front of the camera, in front of the microphone, giving my input, my my expertise, my my value out, there's people that's missing out. Sure, the hair might not be perfect, or the sound might not be there, or the video quality is gonna can be the greatest. But who cares? At the end of the day, it comes down to like how much value I adding to somebody else. There's a lot of people out there that you know they probably take my advice and have done so much other stuff with it, yeah. but they haven't contacted me or, or, or said, hey, look, yeah. this really helped. And there's a lot of times I, you know, went out there and, and got somebody else's value and yeah. used it, but have never responded to them and saying, hey, look, you know, thanks for this. It, it changed my life. Going back to what we were talking about, when you add value, other people will join you. Remember walking fast, yeah. right? Now you, you walk it fast, but those guys are going even faster or even slower. There's gonna be other people that's gonna be joining, and those are the ones that you're, yeah. you're adding value to. That becomes your community, yeah. right? That's what you want. Yeah, you want definitely. you want your community to grow, right? By adding value. Like, yeah, like raising like raising my standards so I grow more, and then I can be able to deliver more. That's what a leader more. is, exactly. Yeah. Creating that community and then building leaders within that community to grow and become leaders as well. You know, if I did this before, how many other people would I have helped? in the long run so if you got information and expertise and value to give out just start